All right, Maverick Max 2014 snorkel your ATV snorkel kit. I'll do a little video walkthrough of where I put everything. Uh, I'll start at the driver's side, work my way around the back, and then come back up the passenger side. And then I'll post videos as well for, um, or I'll post pictures as well for, you know, everybody to follow along with. So starting out in the front, did a hole in the airbox here. Uh, it's a couple fitting and then a lock ring. And then you come over underneath the fender here. It's a two inch rubber boot connecting into a hose. It's like a um, hot tub grade hose that goes up <clears throat> back here. And then you can follow along. And what it does is it follows the existing CV boot, um, CV intake line. So you take that whole piece out, which comes in here, and then connects over here. But you take that piece out, and then it follows right here. It follows up and along underneath the driver's side above the steering column. And you cut a two and a half inch diameter hole right up here. It comes out and through here right underneath this panel, this panel comes off. Another two inch diameter hole here, or two and a half inch, excuse me, and then up to the snorkel. Again, you remove all of the CV inlet ducting that goes right here. <clears throat> There's a big tube that goes here. Follow it back, and then it goes to the CV. So you got a dual um, CV syst CVT system. You got an intake here. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is the intake here. This is the out outlet. Pipe connects. It's kind of difficult to see, but there's a fitting right back there. <clears throat> you connect it there with a 2-inch rubber boot. 48-inch hose that connects down, or that comes down. And then if it's connected, it'll connect right there to that rubber fitting. To this fitting right here. So I've got this panel on for testing. It'll connect to that fitting there, come up through this fitting, pipe out here, and then just straight up to the top. This is all Schedule 60 PVC, um, or Schedule 30 I believe, one of the two, I don't remember, but that's this piping here. Then you've got this one here that connects off of the stock rubber boot. to a 45 roughly 15 inch pipe 90 degree wide rubber boot I'll move this out of the way <clears throat> so these two are actually all one rubber boot two inch comes up here through there oh shit piece just fell off and then up to that piece there up to that pipe now granted You've got to take damn near everything apart on the inside to make sure that everything fits and test fit and cut and everything. But that's what happens. Now, this one here, <clears throat> for the other side of the air box, comes out stock piping or stock fitting here. Basically, you're really just running it right here out. This hose, that's a two and a half inch uh, hole drilled there right behind the glove box. Behind the glove box, it comes out. It comes up here, right there. Another two and a half inch hole cut in this fender here. And again, this fender comes off. It's just a little piece right here that comes off. Two and a half inch hole cut, runs right up into the pipe. And again, I'll take some more pictures. <clears throat> I'll take pictures and I'll uh, show you guys piece by piece as I assemble the bike. I'm gonna take it all apart right now. I haven't done any of the cement of the PVC or silicone in any of the pipes or anything like that. I just basically got everything in, test fit it to make sure that it fits where I want it to and that it all connects how I wanted it to look. But that's the snorkel your ATV snorkel kit.